Factsverse presents No Wonder You Haven't Seen These Pictures From Iran Like any country in the world, Iran has its customs, culture, and common practices. There are some things about the country, though, that some people just don't know. Here are some pretty shocking photos to let you see what life in Iran is really like. And it's really no wonder that you haven't seen these pictures from Iran. I'm guessing they wouldn't be all that happy with us sharing them with you. In 2012, Iran's chief of police announced that Google was nothing but a spy tool designed to infiltrate Iran. The government was working at creating their own internet that they could control. Iranians who use the internet are not allowed to use social media sites like Facebook and Twitter. The authorities worry that those platforms would result in organized mass riots. When it comes to sports, Iran's most popular is soccer. Males and females play the sport, and when females play, they wear their hijabs. The Iran men's team has qualified for three World Cup tournaments and won three Asian Cup titles. It's not too bad for a country in the Middle East. Iran has one of the youngest populations in the world. In Iran, 70% of the population is under the age of 30. It's also the 18 most populated country in the world with over 80 million people. For over 30 years, there was a Star of David on the roof of the main terminal building at Tehran's international airport. The star remained undetected until Google Earth was invented. When the government heard about the star, they were infuriated, and very soon after, that star disappeared. The air pollution in Tehran is horrible. According to reports, 27 people die every day because of air pollution-related diseases. It's likely due to the large population, and many people walk the streets wearing masks to protect themselves. It is a very dangerous place to live in. Ever since the Iranian Revolution of 1979, women's rights have been severely downgraded. In Iran, if a man and woman divorce, the woman loses custody and all rights to her children. In Iran, polygamy is allowed for men only, which gives them plenty of options if things aren't working out with their current wife. Fortunately, women have equal rights in most other parts of the world, just not Iran. For over 2,500 years, the people of Iran have been weaving rugs. They're incredible masterpieces of fabric artistry, too. If you buy a rug in Iran, you can expect to find one tiny flaw. The people who make the rugs actually add this flaw on purpose because they believe only God should create something perfect. When it comes to obesity in the world, Iran comes in 41st place. Around 14% of the population is overweight or obese. Fortunately, the Iranians have a long way to go if they're going to catch up with the United States, who is sixth most obese country in the world. By the way, the number one spot goes to Nauru, and 61% of the residents there are overweight. In Iran, alcohol is illegal, but opium isn't. That's kind of strange, right? Well, not only is opium easy to get in Iran, it's very cheap. The drug is so widespread that Iran has one of the highest opiate addiction rates in the world. Iran is one of the biggest producers of caviar, pistachios, and saffron. They may not have access to the real internet or social media, but apparently they do eat well. Iran is home to one of the biggest carpets that you've ever seen. It was made in 2007, and it was intended for a mosque in the United Arab Emirates. The mat is the size of a soccer field. According to Iranian law, any female from the age of nine must wear a hijab headscarf when in public. Under the law, if a female over the age of nine goes out without a hijab, the authorities can punish her with lashings. So far, there are no reports of the punishment ever being given out. In 2002, Iran announced that it had been working on a secret nuclear program with Russia for the past 18 years. When the world heard about that, everybody started to worry. Iran assured the people of the world that the goal of the nuclear program was simply to produce energy. Most people didn't believe it, and they hoped that tensions wouldn't escalate. Iran is known as the nose job capital of the world. That's because young women prefer the appearance of Western-shaped noses. It's a bit surprising that the cosmetic surgery is so popular there, since the women have to wear hijabs, and the government controls the country's knowledge. There are rich kids in Iran who drink and wear expensive jewelry. These girls wear their hair down, and they walk around in bikinis. Even though the law prohibits all of these things, the rich kids of Iran can do pretty much what they want thanks to their wealthy, influential parents. Kind of like what you can do in the U.S. Many of the rich kids in Iran post their lives on Instagram, which of course is also banned in Iran. Thanks to secret VPNs, these young people post photos of their lives and parties on the internet. When you think of the Arab Peninsula, you think that everybody speaks Arabic. But that's not the case. In Iran, the most common language is Persian. People do speak other languages, such as Turkic, Kurdish, Kilaki, and Arabic. Persian is just the most common. In Iran, 99% of the 
population is Muslim, and 89% of those Muslims are Shia Muslims. The other religions make up only 1% of the population, one of them being Jewish. It doesn't rain very often in Iran. In fact, Iran only gets four inches of rain the entire year. Despite the dry weather, Iran does still have four seasons. In some places in the country, it actually snows. Most people know that the Middle East is swimming in oil. Iran has around 10% of the world's oil reserves. Every day, they pump out 4 million barrels of oil from Iran. It's also the fourth largest oil producer in the world. When an Iranian gets home from work, they can sit down on the couch for a night of watching Game of Thrones, Grey's Anatomy, or The Bachelor. Well, no, actually they can't. Considering the government's strict policy on the internet, it should probably come as no surprise that satellite TV and cable TV ain't allowed at all. Iranians can't even watch American TV shows unless they use a secret illegal VPN. Iran does have their own television shows, but what they watch is nothing like American TV. In Iran, a girl can get married as young as 13 years old. If a boy wants to get married, he has to wait until he is 15 years old. In most parts of the world, the idea of getting married that young would be ridiculous. In many places, the legal age to get married is 18, and that's still considered marrying pretty young. Kids in their early teens, they don't have the maturity or life skills to get married so young. Fortunately, Iran did change its laws a tiny bit for a while, but still, in the end, the 13 and 15 law stood. In 1967, Iran put the Marriage Protection Law into effect. Officials believed that marrying at the age of 13 for girls and 15 for boys was just too young, so they raised the law to 18 years old for men and 15 years old for women. In 1975, Iranian officials believed those ages were still too young to be married, so the law changed again. Under that law, a woman would not be able to get married until she was 18 and a man had to wait until he was 20. In 1979, Iranian officials thought those ages were too old, so the entire law was nullified, meaning that they went all the way back to 13-year-old girls and 15-year-old boys being able to get married. Wow, they should have quit changing the law after that first time. Young people in Iran can do more than just get married. They're also allowed to vote. In Iran, anybody who is 15 years or older can legally vote. Because Iran's laws are so strict, it's surprising that they actually do allow people to undergo sex changes there. They don't understand much about the LGBTQ community, but if a person wants to change their sex, they can. What's even crazier is that if a person wants to change their sex, the government will pay for the operation. Wow, Iran is a pretty backwards country. They don't allow Facebook, but hey, if you want to have a sex change, sure thing, we'll pay for it for you. Subscribe for more.